Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. This is today's video. Had ah, the brain freeze there. In today's video, we're basically gonna be talking about assets. So we're basically gonna download some assets that I've already done for you guys that I slaved to do. It was so long, it's not even funny. If you're wondering what long means, if you're not from the UK, now I'll put a little translation at the bottom. But anyway, uh, we're just gonna basically discuss about how to add assets to a project. Um, and we're also gonna talk about enums as well. So let's jump straight into the video and let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you guys are going to do is going to go on to GitHub. Um, so GitHub, um, well my GitHub, and I basically got a, a repo with all the resources for all the YouTube videos I'm going to be doing. Um, now, I'll put a link in the description and also in this video as well, so you can easily access it. But the one that you want to basically use is this folder here called Football Chant Swift UI Assets. So what we're going to do is just go download this. So we'll go to code and then hit download zip. Um, and then let's just wait for this to download. Cool. And then if you just go onto the folder here, we're just going to basically drag the football chant Swift UI resources and then just put it somewhere where you can easily access it. I'm just going to put mine on a desktop so I can just easily just uh, grab it and use it whenever I need it. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go back into our project. So we're just going to open up this. Cool. And then what we're going to do is we're going to drag some resources from here into the project. Now, don't just drag everything in. It's one step at a time, guys. One step at a time, minute. So let's just go into the assets folder. And the only thing I want you guys to basically drag in for now is the assets folder. So let's just drag this one in first. So before we do that, what we're going to do is delete this. So let's delete this. And then let's just drag this here. And then make sure that copy items if needed is selected and create groups as well and the target selected here and then just hit finish all right cool so let's just inspect what we have in here now so if we go in here and um, we actually don't have an app icon yet and um, now i'm going to be doing that in a future video where we discuss about app icons and how to generate them easily and whatnot so don't worry, I'll treat you guys with that. And um, we have a folder here called Football Badges. Now, if you go into Football Badges, you'll see all the teams. Honestly, guys, this was tedious. Um, so yeah, it was hella long, man. I'm not even gonna lie. So if I just click on this, um, we basically only have one asset. Now, normally, if you do iOS development, um, you will normally see um, that you'd have a 1x, 2x and a 3x or if you're completely new then obviously this is completely new to you but um, with Apple they basically normally have it where you can have like multiple sizes so it scales on different devices because of the retina display but for this we're just going to be using um, PDFs so one size um, that scales on all devices and the, re the how we enable this is by basically selecting this option here called preserve vector data and also making sure that scales is set to single scale as well. So we've done this for all the assets and we're just going to be using PDFs in this project um, so we can just have that one uh, size. So also as well, if you open up football colors, you'll see here that we have all our colors defined here as well. So what these are, they're called color, they're just basically called colored assets and you basically define the color that you want to basically use. So in this color we've used obviously this, I'm not going to lie guys, I don't know the exact hex code, but all I do know is that it's red. And we basically selected this color here and this is what's going to be used universally on all devices. So even if the app is in light and dark mode and whatnot, so we just specified our resources here like so the next thing that we're going to do is we're basically going to drag in our uh file that basically specifies um the teams and their chants so if you just go into the folder again and then you just copy 
this folder here called resources and just drag this into the project as well. So just grab it and then drag it and then make sure that this is selected. The checkbox is uh, create groups and the target is selected as well. And then just hit finish. Okay, cool. And then you should have it in your project here now. So we just open this up again. I'm a ride or die for you guys, man, because we've got every single asset here for all the chants, which are all MP3s. And also as well, um, in the teams.swift file, we basically have an enum as well with all the possible teams as well. So what is this? Because, I mean, if you understand what this is already, then that's um, cool. But if you're completely new to programming in iOS, you're probably wondering what is an enum. So basically, enums are literally a type um, which you basically specify um, unique cases for. So we basically created an enum here called team type, and we basically created um, individual um, cases to basically specify and give each team in the 20, 2021 Premier League season um, a unique identifier. And as you can see, the best team, my team that I support at the top, is here, Arsenal. And what we've basically done with this unique identifiers is we basically use something called an extension. An extension basically, again, um, in Swift, has allows you to extend functionality. So you can basically associate some functionality with an, en with an enum or a class or whatever it is. And with this, we basically uh, essentially have given it the functionality of the badge. So the image that you'll see in the um, app of the team's logo and this is of type string so what it'll do is it will check to basically see is this current case that i'm on arsenal and if it is then return the arsenal um string so from the um assets file so we just go back to the assets you can see here arsenal underscore ic so we'll return that and we do that for every single team where we basically check the enum itself to see what type it is and return a certain badge. And you can see we do the similar thing here with the background where we return a color and as well with the chant file, so the music that we'll be playing later on in the upcoming videos as well. So that's enums and extensions. And also as well, just to throw this one in, this is actually a computed property. So with a computer property, um, what it does is it basically calc performs and calculates um, some sort of um, logic and then returns a value. So this sort of style that I have in this file is very, you could say, Swifty, and it follows a lot of the Swift guidelines in terms of using extensions, enums, and computer properties. So we're going to be using a lot of more Swifty sort of like practices throughout the project. Um, and I'll also explain when and how you want to use them. But this is just a brief example of that in this project. Right, guys. So that's it for today's video. So we discussed, just to give you a little summary, we spoke about using assets. We also spoke about um, enums, computer properties, and also some Swift um, you know, practices as well. So stick around, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next videos. And as always, deuces.